and welcome to What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Brunat, and What the Kids Be Saying is a behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. We keep up with Gen Z, so you do not have to. On today's episode, we will be going over some emoji updates. So I did a whole episode on emojis, I think last season or the season before, and it is a crowd favorite because that's where I tell you guys that the peach emoji means booty and the eggplant emoji means Ugh. Anyway, I'm here with some updates for you so that y'all stay hip because you know that's what I'm here for, okay? So first of all is the big eye emoji. The big eye emoji basically means ah. Somebody says something really nice to you that touches you, that makes you want to say, ah, you would put the big eye emoji. If you scroll through comments of Gen Z, they use this all the time when they think something is sweet, when you say something sweet to them, and it's precious. I like it because it's so wholesome. Next is the eye mouth eye emoji combo. I tried to do research on this. Some people say it just means it is what it is. I don't understand how that makes sense at all. <laughs> like at all, at all. Because when I see it in the comments, it kind of is like they use it when they're staring at something in amazement or when you're staring at something and you don't really know why you're enamored by this thing, but you're like, wow. I see that a lot when they're in the comments and they'll be like me looking at this like and they'll insert this emoji combination. I don't, I don't, um, I don't get it. <laughs> which brings me to my next emoji update, which is this very long and obnoxious combination of come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga, any longer. You saw how I, I messed up the words. <laughs> anyway, Gloria Stefan has a song called uh, Conga that she does with Miami Sound Machine, I believe. I just had to look that up today because I was in my team's chat with my students this morning. This morning, okay? And one of my students, um, the one who said the volume in this nursing home is astronomical. If you know that joke, you know that joke. That means you follow me closely. And she pasted this into <laughs> to the chat. And I was like, um, excuse me, somebody explain this to me because I've because I also saw it in my comment section on TikTok. And they were like, Miss Bernard, don't question it just let it happen like saying stuff like that and i went to TikTok and i responded to the comment that was like this and i said gen z explain yourselves and you want to know what happened gen z proceeded to troll me in the comments <laughs> so i just hope you enjoy this two second clip of all of the comments i got spammed with with this emoji combination singing gloria stefan's koga <laughs> The next emoji that I'm going to go over is the clown emoji. This is the last one, I think. Yes, it is. The clown emoji basically means you made a fool of yourself. So a lot of people like to tell stories on TikTok about something they did foolish in a relationship, like, you know, simping. If you don't know what simping is, go back and find that episode. Um, and then they post a clown emoji because they made a fool of themselves. And that... Ladies and gentlemen, would do it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. Um, like, share, subscribe. All of these videos are on the YouTube and on the IGTV. Um, and as usual, my friends, stay hip.